Well, literacy is a life skill, but it's not something that comes easily to everyone. Author Sigmund Brower is here to talk to us about inspiring reluctant readers. And thank you so much for being here this morning. Jesse, it's a pleasure. Awesome. Uh, often it's boys who struggle with reading. Uh, what kinds of things can you get them to do or that you can show them to inspire them to start picking up a book? I have a simple one-word answer. Yeah. Story. Story. Humans are, are, we're wired, our DNA is wired for story. Right. That's why we love watching movies. We love listening to stories. And I, I always try to make it clear that, that reading and writing is just a delivery system for story. Mm -hmm. So instead of trying to sell them on reading and writing, we try to hook them with a the story. Uh, when I'm in schools and I, I open with, with the, the opening of this book, right. where a guy steps in the ice and starts getting rid of all his hockey equipment. There you go. Every kid in the gym's hooked. They want to know why. And when we discover that there were cockroaches in the guy's hockey equipment, <laughs> then I've appealed to the emotions of a reluctant reader, a boy who likes silly, weird, gross. So there great stories make you feel something. Once you understand who your audience is, choose a story that makes them feel the way they want to feel. The story will hook them, and reading or writing will take care of itself. And you have another medium that you use as well. You do something called Rock and Roll Literacy Show, and you do that at schools. We have some video to actually show of what you guys do. Uh, what is it about this that gets kids so amped up to start picking up books? Well, great songs make you feel something, and mm -hmm. that's my point. Story is like, like music, and um, I play I play music, tell stories, and, and get a few points in there, mm -hmm. and it'll it'll hold an audience of up to 400 kids. I was giggling when you said I'm a, a musician kind of thing because my wife's in the business, and I'm a horrible guitar player. But when I bring it out, okay. I make three points. One, you're a beginner; you got to make mistakes. Two, you go in the studio and you edit. That's mm -hmm. how music sounds great on iTunes. Your first draft's not going to be perfect. And three, your teachers asked you to write a story. Story's cool. Have fun. And I just have fun with my guitar. I'm loud and enthusiastic, and hopefully they get the message. And a lot of energy at 845 in the morning. A lot morning. of energy. Uh, tell us about the 7 Series. We I'm have it on very your shirt happy there. to tell you about it. Uh, I'm in town with three, of the, three other of the seven authors of the 7 Series. Okay. One grandfather, seven quests, seven grandsons. Each of seven high-profile Canadian authors were given the, the task to write a story. It was a runaway success. It's in its fifth printing. Um, I just found out yesterday all the books have been released in French. It's been translated in four other languages, all within a year. Perfect. So we're in town to go to as many schools as possible and invite kids tonight at the Sherwood Park Library and tomorrow night at the main public library downtown. And what can people expect from those events? You have a few authors with you and again that's tonight and tomorrow uh, for someone that was heading out. What, uh, what will they experience? Well they, they get to hear stories from all four of us. Mm -hmm. we, we give them some uh, background information on the books but mainly we are there to try to hook especially boys to read because these are these are boys adventures. We, uh, we know the girls are reading them but if you have a boy who doesn't read much, right. this is the event for him. All right. Well, thank you so much once again for being here this morning. The 7 Series Tour goes tonight at Strathcona County Library and tomorrow at Stanley Milner Library. Both events start at 7.